Hello, it is I, your artist and host, Isaiah Perry, coming to you from somewhere in Vermont, wearing a banana costume in a barn. I'm here to talk to you about my newest exhibition, Banana Boys. It's hung here in the gallery that I assume you're standing in at the moment, and I am not. I'm in a barn. Anyways, um, banana bullism is an idea that I came up with initially from just painting a picture of a demon, of a demon, like devil type creature, in a banana costume while eating a banana, and. I just, I really found this imagery kind of ironic and funny. And I sort of developed this whole project off from a small, like, 9 by 12 sketchbook paper painting that I did. Um, now, this exhibition has taken a lot of a, a larger form than, than that. And... It sort of it it can represent many different things. I think, on a, a philosophical level, I've had someone tell me that it could represent the apocalypse or like apocalyptic times, the sort of chaos one's creative mind creates when apocalypse or chaos is occurring. You know, if if everything's all fine and dandy, you might draw a picture of like a field and sunshine and people holding hands but like let's say there's a global pandemic happening you might i don't know you might get a little crazy with it you might draw a demon banana eating a banana that might be even how you feel i don't know so that's that's one interpretation of this piece another is a weirder interpretation i've had someone tell me that it looks to represent how computers are eating human beings. Now, I know how you, f I, I kind of know how you feel when you hear that because it's probably how I felt too. It's a little odd, right? Um, but the more this person explained it to me, the more it kind of made sense. So basically you see in this exhibition, it starts with a real banana and then it goes down this rabbit hole of becoming a drawing, becoming a painting, becoming a digital image, and then becoming this distorted, swirling nonsense, and then an empty husk of what it once was. Now, that could represent technological advances and how each time we get a new phone or a new computer or a new piece of technology, it becomes part of us more and more to the point where we don't really have what we had before all of this technology was invented. I don't know if I believe that. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's directly something I disbelieve. But that is something you could take from this piece. Like, honestly, I really do see that angle in bananabolism. You can have whatever angle you want in bananabolism because I think what's most important about art is that the artist doesn't dictate what it means. It means whatever it means to whatever individual consuming it. In this case, please do not consume my art. I know part of it is edible, but don't do it. Anyways, um, yeah, so what does bananabolism mean to you? Does it mean nothing at all? Because you wouldn't be alone there. It doesn't mean anything to me. I personally find it um, funny. I just think a demon banana eating a banana is particularly funny. I think wearing a banana costume, presenting that for an academic art talk is also pretty funny. I don't know if it's funny to you, but it's certainly funny to me. I'm really enjoying doing this, and that's why I'm doing it. But what does it mean to you? If you have any questions, or if you want to tell me what it means to you, I'm sure I'll edit in my email or contact information somewhere on the screen. If you want to jot that down or put it in your phone and get to me and ask me a question or something, then you can do that. I might answer you. Until then, have a good night, America.